Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood part number 6RXHD. This is a rivnut uh, for use when you want to conceal or blind mount a bolt. Uh, Rockwood pull handle can be prepped for a 3 8 bolt somehow, some way. They'll be prepped for a 3 8 bolt. Um, you might have a need for a rivnut depending on what the application is or what exactly it is that you might be trying to do. Um, what I mean by that is they don't really, they do not have a blind or a concealed surface mount where it takes a 3 8 bolt. So what you might end up needing to do is to com come up with some deployment of fastener that will allow you to mitigate damage on a door. And what I mean is I have a client who has a pull handle, 8 inch center to center, offset pull handle and someone's managed to really pull the handle off the door and it was a 5 16 um, rivnut sort of installation that's there well going back in with a 5 16 won't work because there's damage to the hole itself so what you might come up with is a way to use the next largest size as a rivnut and then manufacture some sort of bolt to go into the back of the handle after you've worked the mounting post meaning you might have to drill into it to make that a little bit larger whatever the case might be. We have a lot of ingenious customers and they have very uh, strong imaginations when it comes to solving problems. And this video is showing you one of those pieces that could be used to, to uh, solve a problem is what this rivnut is. Now this rivnut um, is the type of fastener that you do the following. You drill a hole, you put that into the hole, okay? You run your 3 8 bolt and you'll see the threads are deep down into the well there. They come up right through the back. And when you tighten the bolt, it's going to force the back side to come to the front side. It's going to crush in, allowing you to sandwich that over the wall thickness of the material that you're drilling through. That's how a rivnut works. Okay, um, It's not, in my opinion, preferred or ideal uh, in terms of a method of mounting. Through bolting it is always the most secure, but there are instances when you can't through bolt it. Either you have hardware in the way that you literally can't drill a hole through, or you have a client who says, I don't want to see the head of the bolt on the interior side or the opposite side of the doors. A very common sort of request from a client. Even though it doesn't serve, in my opinion, their long-term interest best, uh, as is the case here, but this pull handle, it was vandalized. Someone really just pulled on it. Um, and these, by looks of the pull handle and how corroded or patinaed it is, looks like it's been there for quite a while. That, that corrosion or patina did not happen overnight. Let's go over some dimensional properties of this rivnut. Overall length, 0 0.742, 0.742. The outside diameter of the face, 0.674. 0.674, the diameter of the body, 0 0.528, 0 0.528, thickness of the head, 0 0.044, 0 0.044 is the thickness of that head, okay? Now let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. That's the rivnut profile or side view, cross section perhaps. The front end and then the back end. Um, so again, the you know where you're going to use this is going to be based on trying to mitigate a problem. Now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. And when you click on that, the manufacturer's page in our site will load. That link will allow you to review not only the link to the Rockwood website, but also their full product catalog. When it comes to door pulls, they have a separate architectural door pull catalog as seen here. And that's a, a rather substantial document when it comes to all things pull handle related from Rockwood. Um, it not only shows all of the pulls that they get into, um, but it's more of a picture book as well. Architectural base materials, brass, bronze, stainless, aluminum, wood, leather wrapped, rubber wrapped, um, all sorts of I, uh, items. There was a, re, uh, a press release from Asa Abloy maybe 18 months ago, uh, maybe in the year 2019, and they said, 
you know, listen, if you've got a pen and a napkin, sketch out your idea and send it to us. We'll quote it. And that is the case, especially with Rockwood. They, they have... Um, they, they, they have eagerness to quote special projects. They're exceptional when it comes to that. If they've got the machinery to make it, they're going to price it. And they do a really good job at that willingness to do so. They've got Moxie, those kids over there, uh, is, is how uh, one might say. Great option. Anyway, this 6RXHD uh, Rivnut might come into play um, in what you're trying to do. This link is seen here is the one I wanted to show you. Kit Parts mounting kit parts master table. In this document it goes over all things mounting hardware for poles and the different mount types as well. The individual bolt packages are in the end of the catalog is where this is. Okay. Machine bolts, through bolts. Now if I had said earlier Rockwood does not have a mount bolt, uh, a threaded bolt that is 3 8 There are 3 8 is going to come in when they are doing a spanner style, a back-to-back -back spanner style, or they're doing a heavy-duty through bolt for glass or for uh, typical, you know, aluminum, wood, hollow metal doors. So they don't have um, just a, um, a cone bolt or a double cone bolt for a bolt for a 3 8 that being the case, and that having been said, um, there are other manufacturers that would have cone bolts in a 3.8 size. So if you're really looking to salvage something, reach out. We'll help you source uh, something that might be able to work. But all those other bolts are there as well. Okay, Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like. And also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. The name Rockwood is quite synonymous with door poles and trim and auxiliary hardware. And I would definitely recommend that you review both of their catalogs for that material. They've been around since the mid-20th century. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. They are prompt, reliable, predictable in terms of their lead times, their shipping lead times. Their technical support is amazing. Their customer service is at least amazing. Amazing plus, for sure. It's rare that I call there and have to get past customer service on the question that I'm asking because those folks are so well trained. Um, I don't know how they do it. I don't know what the policy is. Maybe someone starts manufacturing in the back for a five-year apprenticeship before they can go into customer service, before they can go into engineering, things of that nature. Just really phenomenal people there. And for that, to them, I say thank you. Any questions on the 6R XHD Rivnut only or any other uh, Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. By the way, this is 18.8 stainless. These are made in different base materials. Steel, aluminum, stainless. We have the stainless steel available because it's the most corrosion resistant material. You know, and you're repairing something, it's surface concealed. Why use something that has a material science that would be inferior to this? So there you go. Any questions on this or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. Well, another thing that I realized that I didn't tell you that we have to tell you first, the drill size for this I did not indicate you're going to drill a 17 30 second of an inch hole for this item okay you know what let's switch back to the screen view and take a closer look at the technical drawing if you are enjoying this video please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel let's move on to the rest of the video I apologize for neglecting to show this earlier all the dimensional properties beyond what I've shown. Material thickness, 0.027 to 0.15 inch. And it's going to end up looking like that, your material thickness. And that's going to be clearly for your aluminum storefront, for your hollow metal uh, doors. I wouldn't say this would be superior to, not only not to, to a through bolt, but also a drilled and tapped installa uh, installation. If you had adequate reinforcing, you drilled and tapped to that adequate reinforcing, uh, the pull handle should do pretty well. All right, now let's wrap it up on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. There you are, a final look at this item. And again, to reinforce the earlier uh, comment about customization, if you want to deviate in finish and size, you want something to do something else, I've had Rockwood do lots of things, quite frankly, that other people... They probably can do, but they there, there is a lack of willingness to do it. 
Um, I've had Rockwood manufacture for me <clears throat> two instances. Rickson, a sister <clears throat> company to Rockwood, manufactured their 901 series electric deadbolts. These are really unusual electric deadbolts <clears throat> because of the size. They were abnormally large. It's just a bolt that shoots out of the body and it's controlled electrically. I've got a client on the West Coast whose end, end user, their client, has these installed. So we can buy electric deadbolts. Those are easy. I happen to uh, I happen to like a particular company also on the West Coast that I like to use. <clears throat> the problem is their faceplate was an inch shorter and a, and, a, and a quarter inch narrower, I think, or maybe a half inch, I forget. I mean, this Rockwood 901, pardon me, the Rickson 901 is a big unit. Hollow metal frames. The reinforcements are welded in. Everything's set, can't be modified. The doors are fire rated, can't be modified in the field. Brought in this electric deadbolt that has multiple holes in it. At least eight holes. One of them is tapped with a really strange thread. Three quarter 27 is the thread type on this. That's for the uh, ball switch that's in it. Bought the electric deadbolt in. Pulled the faceplate off, put that aside, gave Rockwood a sketch. Here's the faceplate I need you to make. Preserving all of the holes for the componentry of the unit. Holding the plate onto the body, the bolt sticking out, the threaded component for the ball switch. But then putting the mounting holes at the proper biased or adjusted position for the existing hollow metal frame. So took a modern unit, put it onto a modern manufactured faceplate in stainless steel, and they took that sketch, and there was no problem. No problem. They didn't tap the hole because they didn't have the tap. They didn't have a three-quarter uh, three 27 tap, but they would have tapped the hole if they had the tap. The other instance is you're in a clothing store, and you're pulling, you know how gloves are uh, put together with that plastic retainer, and then there's a hook, and it hangs on the hook. I've had Rockwood modify their coat hooks, a certain diameter with the peg at the end to keep, you know, the hook from whatever is hanging on there from falling off. I've had them modify those in length and mount type and finish to suit this retail application, a clothing, a clothing uh, retailer selling gloves, ski gloves, winter ski gloves. And it worked out perfectly. And, you know, Rockwood just, they, they do it. And they're, they're really memorable for that. Any questions on this or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.